Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicos Hub. This is a series of three lectures on nerve injury. In first two lectures, we will discuss the events following the nerve injury. This is a neuron which is attached with the target muscle forming a neuromuscular junction here. So if a section or cut or injury occurs at this side, this is the side of injury, then what is going to happen? So the events following a nerve injury are basically divided into two parts. What are the events occurring in this region that is distant to the site of injury and what are the events occurring in this region that is the proximal site of injury. So this is proximal part and this one is considered as distal part or part of neuron distal to the site of injury. So important thing is that the distal part that is part of neuron distal to the site of injury will be degenerated and that degeneration is known as valerian degeneration. So distal part will show valerian degeneration and the proximal part will show first some degenerative ch changes and then regeneration. So in this video we will discuss the valerian degeneration and in the next video we will discuss the uh, degenerative changes and then regeneration which is going to occur in the proximal part. And in the third video, we will discuss the sudden classification of nerve injury based on these degeneration, extent of degeneration and regeneration. So, first of all, we will discuss the valerian degeneration. Now, what will happen in the distal part after injury? So, first event, an exon. This is the exon distal to the site of injury. It will swell up it will swell up while the exon terminal it will be retracted from the target muscle it is retracted from the target organ like muscle and these two are completely degenerated within several weeks of injury. So the swelling of exon and the retraction of exon terminal from the target organ is one of the first changes occurring in the distal part during valerian degeneration. Now, other changes. This is Schwann cell and this structure is basically the myelin sheet. So what will happen to Schwann cells and myelin sheet? Uh, this neuron is taken in peripheral nervous system so that's why these should be Schwann cells. In CNS these must be oligodendrocytes. So Schwann cells will swell up while the myelin sheath in myelin sheath fatty enlargements occur giving it a beaded appearance which is followed by degeneration of myelin sheath. So myelinating cells will swell up but survive. 
so myelinating cells survive but the myelin sheath is degenerated now what will happen to exon exon terminal schwann cells and myelin sheath finally these are going to degenerate this will survive this is going to degenerate so exon plus exon terminal plus myelin sheath all debris is phagocytosed by all debris of exon exon terminal myelin sheath is phagocytosed by macrophages and schwann cells in pns and it is relatively rapid while in cns this is done by microglial cells now what is the effect on nerve conduction nerve conduction stops within few hours of injury what will happen if nerve impulse is given to this region that is proximal part of the distal part that is uh, this is uh, this part of distal part if you give nerve impulse somewhere here it will conduct impulse but that conduction will also continue for 3 to 5 days after 5 days it will completely stop now what will be the appearance in the distal part during valerian degeneration now if this is the exon exon will swell like this it is retracted from the target organ and the myelin sheath will give beaded appearance because of fatty enlargements and the myelinating cells will swell up. so these are the changes occurring during valerian degeneration in the next lecture we will discuss the changes in the proximal part which are small degenerative changes first that will appear in the proximal part followed by the regeneration that occurs only in the proximal part hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications